Hello children. In the last lesson we learnt about simple interest. Let us see more examples of simple interest. First, let us revise what is interest. If principal that is the amount borrowed is represented by P and the interest rate is R, then one year's interest is equal to P multiply by R divided by 100. That is principal multiply by simple interest rate divided by 100. Let us represent the time in years by T. So now interest will become principal multiplied by time multiplied by interest rate divided by 100 that is P multiplied by T multiplied by R divided by 100. This way when interest is calculated on a fixed principle that interest is called simple interest. Now let us take a few real life examples to understand its usage. So the amount to be written is equal to principal plus interest that is amount is equal to principal plus interest. Say Aman wanted to go to a reputed university for his higher education but his father couldn't afford the high fees so he took a education loan of rupees 50,000 from the bank at the interest rate of 9% per annum that is interest of 9 rupees for every 100 rupees borrowed per year and say Kisan Singh repaid it after 2 years how much did he pay to the bank let us try to find out and how do we do it let's look at it let us first try to find out how much interest he has to pay and we know the formula interest is equal to principal multiplied by time multiplied by interest rate divided by 100 so principal is 50,000 time to repay is 2 years and rate of interest is 9% per annum we are going to use these values to find out the interest so interest is P multiply by T multiply by R divided by 100 that is 50,000 rupees of principal multiply by 2 years multiply by 9% interest rate divided by 100 which is 50,000 divided by 100 is 500 and 9 multiplied by 2 is 18 so it is 500 multiplied by 18 that is 9000 so at the end of two years Kisan Singh have to pay back 50,000 rupees which he took back which is the principal plus 9000 rupees of interest that is 59,000 rupees of total money he has to pay back in story Aman heard that Paisamal demanded 2500 rupees as interest on 10,000 rupees for a year. Aman himself calculated the interest rate. Interest is equal to 2500, time is equal to 1 year and principal is equal to 10,000 rupees. So he found out R by putting all the values. 2500 is equal to 10,000 multiplied by 1 multiplied by R divided by 100 or 2500 multiplied by 100 is equal to 10,000 multiplied by R or 2,50,000 divided by 10,000 is equal to R that is R is equal to 25 25% interest rate which was more than double what the bank was charging 
so aman gave idea to villagers to go for bank loan and hence villagers were able to repay the bank loan as the interest was low that is they have to pay lesser extra money for the principal borrowed this way when interest is calculated on a fixed principal that interest is called simple interest but few people take another loan to repay a loan look this is the first loan and then interest gets added then that person takes second loan to repay the whole amount so now his loan has become bigger so the interest would also become bigger and then there will be a bigger trouble to repay this bigger loan with bigger interest and this can lead to vicious cycle of remaining in loan only we not only take loan from bank we also deposit money in bank isn't it now have you wondered how our money grows in the bank interest when we take money from bank we pay interest to the bank when we deposit money in the bank the bank gives us the interest so when we deposit money in bank we must know how much interest it will give assume gramin bank is giving 8% per annum simple interest kisan singh has deposited 8000 rupees so that he would get extra money as the interest now after 2 years he went to the bank to withdraw the total amount how much extra will he get when we deposit money to the bank the principal is what we deposit so here the principal was p equal to 8000 rupees and the interest rate r was 8% per annum and he kept the money in bank for 2 years so t was equal to 2 years interest after 2 years would be i is equal to p multiplied by t multiplied by r divided by 100 which is 8000 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 8 divided by 100 which is equal to 80 rupees multiplied by 16 which is 1280 rupees yes he gets 1280 rupees extra as interest so at the end of 2 years he got back an amount of 8000 rupees which was his principal plus an extra money which was the interest of 1280 so in total he got back 9280 rupees so isn't interest a wonderful thing so now we know about simple interest and we are safe from people like pesamal so if you ever go for a loan you can find out where you should go the person who is charging lesser interest rate that is all for today children bye bye